Welcome to our players running along. Well, today we're going to be recapping on my last video. I think this is part two. Now the video seemed to go quite well, but a lot of people were asking how to fix it. The truth is you just stopped doing it, but some people got a little bit confused as to whether they should have an open grip or whether they should keep the same grip. Let's get into it. Okay, so firstly, just to recap, open grip, close grip. Opening the palm up to the board, keeping it closed off to the board. It's okay to have a closed grip. Now, a lot of you asked, how do we open the grip up? The truth is, you don't really have to. I mean, so Taylor always had a closed grip. You know, Taylor used to use the nail and grip something like this. Something like that. But as he went through, his hand finished there. Or sometimes down like that. But it was never like this. You always see the palm of the, palm of the hand slightly at an angle. So if you do want to try and open the grip up straight, it is, it's down to changing the grip. It's down to changing that grip. Rather than having the thumb kind of under the dart like that, you need the thumb on the side of the dart. So it changes from this to that. Closed. Open. I'm kind of spinning the dart. The thumb's coming out. It's opening the palm up to the board. Changing the grip's a huge, huge task. It was very hard to do. The only grip I've seen people learn to do would be like a triangle grip. You can see the little triangle shape. And we see Peter Wright learn to do something similar to that. Connor Scott has altered his grip and it's something similar to that. But we haven't seen many players learn to change their grip. So if you can get a small adjustment and open the palm up, you might find it easier to start flicking like this. But it's not that important. It's more important to keep the same shape. Learn what shape suits your grip. That's generally easier. Look at the shape of your hand after the drawback. Always remember it's after the draw. Because some people cock the dart and it actually changes the grip. So it's going to be different. After the drawback than that is. Draw back, look at the hand. And just keep the same shape of the hand all the way through. Now in order to do this, you want to keep the same angle on your forearm. Keep the same angle on the forearm and this part of the hand shouldn't be changing. Keep the same shape all the way through. All the way through. You need good alignment to do it though. You need the elbow and shoulder down the same path you want the dart to fly. That becomes very advanced. That's the truth of it. And I can't really tell you, oh, your hand should definitely be in this shape until I look at it. This is the point of coaching. This is why I make my living out of coaching darts full time. It is going to be unique to the player. The, the principles are the same. The technique is technically the same. The style is not. The style is different. This and this will both work. As long as you're keeping the same angle, same shape, it's going to be straight. If you get good alignment with that, it's just going to be backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. The only other things that can cause you to miss the dart would be uneven pressure of the grip, which is very advanced. I actually had uneven in pressure of the grip, but I was still averaging 80 odd. So you could still be a very good dart player. But this is what I want you to work on. Look at the shape of the hand after the draw. Keep the same shape all the way through. A good technique is to actually look at the wrist. Draw back, look at the hand after the draw. So you're aiming it, draw it back, pause, look at the wrist. And just work on flicking, keeping the same shape. Flicking, keeping the same shape. If my hand is very closed, my hand should be finishing like this. If my hand is more open, it's going to be like that. Mine's somewhere in the middle at the minute. It's something like this. So I've been changing my start, which will be my next video. It's going to have a little bit of an angle like that. But it's still straight. It goes in, it feels good. A little bit similar to Adrian Lewis. If you look at Adrian Lewis's shape, it's like this. It's not like that. It's there. Not this. Taylor's again. More closed up. There. A little bit more similar. See Daryl Gunn, he has a little twist of his fingers. Because of the way he grips the dart, they kind of go over each other. It looks a bit odd. The hand print's affected by the grip. And that is why I can't say you need to all do it one way. This is why nobody should ever tell you your hand needs to finish in a certain shape. Because it's affected by the grip. What they should be coaching is flicking it straight. That's different. Keeping it straight is good. We want to throw them straight. Then we can all agree throwing them straight is not a bad habit. But that isn't straight. That's the problem. If you grip like this and then you go into the ship, 
you're rotating. Keep the same shape. Elbow still, same angle, same shape. Straight down the line. If you struggle with it, it's probably because you're misaligned. Misalignment's a big thing. I have done a video on alignment already. My private tuition goes a lot more in depth with it, but it could take, depending on your level of natural ability. I've seen some people be pretty perfect from the off. Very rare, very rare. Three or four times out of a good few hundred students. But most of the time it's going to take a good few sessions. It's not easy. Took me years. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching Street to the Point. Please remember to like and leave a comment. And as always, subscribe if you love the dots.